Hello everyone and if you heard about the AutoGPT then you probably know that AutoGPT is basically Thanos hand with the infinity stone loaded and it can do really big magic. Right now in the market everyone is talking about the how AutoGPT powerful is and how people are using for building the software, plugins and whatnot. So in this video I am going to show you how to set up AutoGPT on your personal computer. I am going to divide the whole process in the few simple steps and I am going to explain each step in the simplest way possible. Also I am going to provide timestamps for all the steps so that you can jump around the video and you can save your time so let's get started okay so for this setup i'm going to use ubuntu because i prefer linux you can use any flavor of the linux and same step will be applicable for that particular process too so as you can see i have brand new ubuntu setup so very first thing you need to do is to open the terminal you can directly go to the menu or you can search and you can access the terminal once you open the terminal you need to execute command apt get update to update all repositories because we are going to install some package here and here you can now install the package called curl w and docker compose unfortunately the docker component is not mentioned in the command but i will add in the command in the on the screen next thing we need to do is we need to install the docker so here is a command to install docker and it is using get docker script to quickly install docker on your system so once this command is finished execution what you need to do is you need to run the command called docker if you are getting something in the output without the error that means docker is completely installed and working completely fine you can clear the terminal now the next thing is you need to check which python version you are is using in your system so to run the auto gpt setup you need to have python 3 so for me the version of the python is python 3.10 next thing you need to do is install vs code editor you can use any code editor but i prefer vs code editor you can go to the website here and you can download for Linux and I'm using the dev package here. Let's wait for a few seconds until it is downloaded. So once it is downloaded, what we need to do is we need to move our terminal to that particular directory, which is downloads directory. For that purpose, you can use the command called cd downloads and it will be moved to the, that particular downloads directory. Then you will find the, that file here. To see the file, you can use the ls command. Next thing you need to do is use the dpkg command to install that particular package. Once you hit enter, it will install VS code on your system. To access VS code, what you can do is you can either go to the menu or you can use code dot on your terminal and it will do the same thing. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to the plugin section of the VS code and there you need to find specific plugin which is related to the Docker container management and this plugin is developed by microsoft you can use the name dev containers and you need to install that particular plugin so in my case as you can see on screen it's already installed so i'm not going to do anything else next thing is we need to get the open ai api key so open the browser and enter open ai api and follow the instruction as on the screen next thing you can go to the api and then you can, you can see the account section on the right and then you can select the api keys and here you can find that your api keys right here so here on this page you can click on the add api key and you can add api key remember to copy api key before clicking on the done otherwise it will not show that key again once it is copied next thing you need to do is set up payment method because without setting up the payment method this process is not going to work so here I am going to add my payment method, obviously I am not going to show on the screen but I will add my payment method here. Next thing is you need to get the source code of from the github for auto gpt. So you can use this link which is latest version link but in case this video gets old you can click on the releases and there you will find the latest version. So my case it is 0.4.3 so I am going to follow the same link here. Once it is downloaded go to the file manager or file browser extract that particular zip file and rename to the auto gpt remove just a version part from that particular file name rename to the auto gpt now what you can do is you can use the terminal navigate to that particular folder you can use cd capital a and tab it will type auto gpt and then what you need to do is type port dog that will open vs code editor for that particular directory so as you can see vs code is open and uh, the source code is also there and as you can see the f if you compare with the file manager it looks exactly the same same files are there next thing we need to look at the file called .env.template so it's a sample template here what you need to do is you need to create a new .env file and you need to copy that particular content of template 
to the new env file and in this you will find one place where you need to paste the open api key so remember that previous uh, in previous step we copied some open api key you can just paste that open api key right here once it is pasted you can save that particular file and you can go ahead with the process now open the terminal from vs code or you can access the previous terminal also and install and you can use docker compose command to build auto gpt image from this source so right now it is going to take little bit time i am fast forwarding the video but it will build the auto gpt image once it is uh, once it is done with the completing completely building the auto gpt image it will show screen like this once this is done then final thing is you can run the auto gpt here for running auto gpt you can use vs code terminal also or you can use normal terminal also so to reduce complexity i will use the normal terminal here and i need to execute that particular command here and here you can execute the command given on the screen and it will run auto gpt so as you can see everything is done and on the terminal it is displayed that i want to auto gpt2 and here you can type particular task and auto gpt will use so once you type the command and it will start doing the work so here i am going to build the instruction manual for installing the bitcoin node on my system so let's see how it is building the that particular man, manual so here as you can see once i entered the gpt is done with the gpt's work and right now it is asking for permission so here even if is, the name is auto gpt it is not going to do everything automatically it is going to ask your permission for particular step and if you don't want to give permission every single time you can mention dash y and the number of times you need to approve that particular permission so if i use you know, let's say dash y and 10 so basically it will not ask for confirmation or your permission for next 10 tasks here you can mention any number i am just giving the example number 10 So finally on the screen as you can see it is asking me for the permission to write on the file. So that means it is going to write the all instruction and that particular txt file. To access the work done by auto gpt what you need to do is you need to follow this particular uh, path which is mentioned in previously on the terminal. So that part was app auto gpt auto gpt workspace and then uh, auto gpt is a workspace folder and in that particular folder as you can see there is a txt file created which will contain instruction to install or to set up uh, bitcoin node so this is how you can uh, set up auto gpt on linux and this is how you can use auto gpt on the linux here i just showed one small example to generate manual but you can do far more complex works here you can write a code you can write a software you can write a plugins and what not you can do everything which is possible by auto gpt so this is also very simple setup for linux based users and if you want setup same setup for windows do let me know in the comment and if i get enough likes and even enough comment definitely i will create video for windows too so here is a quick announcement guys i have started my new youtube channel where i will be posting videos about the ai and new technologies that are coming in the market along with that i am going to explain what are the opportunities that are coming with that particular technology and how you can use that particular technology to simplify your own work So if you are interested in new technology update then please consider subscribing my channel you will find link in the description so that's all for this one see you in the next